it's better lit in here than I expected. That's a weird arrow. I consider to, yeah. The city replaced all of the lighting in areas like this with low power, high durability LEDs a few years ago. Actually cut down on vagrants setting up camp in the tunnels and drowning when the rains came through. <laughs> Either that, or they could just see better enough to know when to clear out. Maybe. Speaking of that, we should move quickly. The waters are likely to rise soon. Not high enough to be dangerous, but I don't float well. I can handle being submerged, but I can't swim. Oh, okay. Keep an eye out for one of those maps they leave out for the maintenance crew. It might be printed on the wall, or maybe a terminal, if someone was willing to waste that much money. Okay, everyone. Let's keep moving. Wait. Wait can I... Okay, no, I can't put it on. I'm not... to look for a, a map, right? Turn back. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, wait, wait, what's that? This... Okay, I guess we can't mess with that. The... The little line right there across the room. Be careful, everyone. The water is starting to deepen. We need to get going. If the water rises too much more, we're going to get washed out of here. Turing will probably be okay, but the rest of us need to breathe. Mostly. <laughs> okay, we got to be more observant. Oh. Okay. There's an information terminal! Huh. Now we know what the city spends its credits on. Let's see where we are and plan out our path then. So... Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna write this down. Okay, so I think I might have got it. Not sure. the map again. Okay, I think I got it. Ah, the water! Stop jabbering! And keep your stunners above the water. We can't risk them getting shorted out. I think I might have messed up. This water is getting... We have to get to an exit! Oh, okay, good, we're good. Right, go back just in case. The flow is surging! Hold on! No! I got something in my mouth. Well, that was fun. I think so. The water level has fallen again, but we're back at the entrance. We'll just have to walk it again. Okay, let's start moving. Okay, I think I got it this time, though. Left, I guess? Okay, go back. This water... We have to get to an exit! I Here it is! This is the ladder we're looking for! 
<sighs> Remind me to pass on this part of the mission next time. I'd rather deal with your sister being mad at me. The main server building is just up there. Let's hurry before someone notices us. Those kids probably can't keep that riot up much longer. Hmm, I think I know where we are. Parallax filed this building's plans with the city per regulation, and although they're clearly incomplete, these hallways have been mapped out rather well. It's a straight shot to the server core from here, more or less. We've got activity. Looks like something's moving up ahead. The building security VI must have noticed us. We'll have to make it past those ROMs without getting ourselves caught. No problem. We've all got stunners and we'll make those bots fry. Well, is there another way? We don't have to destroy them completely, do we? Not to put too fine a point on it, Turing, but they're not like you. They're just plastic and programming. Puppets. Not sure we should put it that way too, but alright. But they won't always be, not for much longer. Lexi, Decker, the truth is, we're planning to replace Big Blue with my original source code. Once we do that, we'll have the power to make every ROM a sapient individual, just like me. We aren't shutting down Big Blue, we're changing it. I know it seems like splitting hairs, but it seems wrong to destroy them when we come here to give them life. They deserve it. Oh fine, here. Give me that stunner. Aww. Oh. Trying to remove from items. All right, uh, done. I've changed the settings on it to give a lower yield with a more lengthy pulse. Ah, okay. It should disrupt them long enough for us to get past and won't do any permanent damage to any systems that can't be repaired. Does that assuage your bleeding heart? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Decker. Zapper added to items. No problem. We can't all be soldiers. <laughs> Decker and I will keep our stunners at default settings so we can handle any humans that might show up. That low-powered pulse would just piss most people off, but wouldn't stop them. You'll have to take care of the shooting for now. Lead the way. We're almost there. Okay. So we just... Oh, look! And that's a Malcolm Jr. model! They perform basic maintenance duties, mostly. They're cute, too. Not exactly. Wait a second. Th th they're shooting at us! Take it down! Ooh! See, that's what I was, uh, that's what I was talking about. With the arcade. We've got more of them! I've been somewhat training for this. Oh. Oh no. That's a full-scale Malcolm! I don't think I lost any health right there. We can't let them stop us. We've come too far. Let's oh. finish this. Is there one more room? That's the last of them. Oh no, we're good. The door to the server core should be just past this maintenance tunnel, not too far from our current position. There probably won't be any more security once we get there. Too much risk in damaging the equipment that supports the racks. Hey, you two. At this point, I think Lexi and I should hang back and guard the entrance, in case more security shows up. 
The alarm has been tripped, so backup is bound to arrive sooner rather than later. I still don't trust him that much. What if he do something to Lexi or something like that? I, mean, I guess he has a point, though, so yeah. Good idea. Neither of us know any of the technical stuff. We can hold our own against Christmas Eve level security. Yeah, we'd be useless down there. <laughs> that works. We'll move as fast as we can then. Be careful, you two. Good luck up ahead. We'll catch up soon. Come on, let's go. Junior deputy. This should be the last hurdle before reaching Big Blue. The configuration ahead doesn't match the available floor plans for this section of the building. The path is blocked off, but we can't go any further in this direction. Hold on for a moment. I'm going to tap into the maintenance mesh and see if I can find a way to open up this path. Mm -hmm. Got it. We should be able to move around freely enough using this. Do you mind opening the door in front of us? Wait. Oh, okay. Good work. Let's head in. None of this is detailed in the public floor plans for the building. The mainframe seems to have been moved up a floor. Perhaps they installed extra heat exchangers in preparation for Big Blue going online. Oh, that Big Blue? a call from... Sounded so distressed. What could have happened? Ah, I can't reach her! All of this equipment's interference, combined with being underground, is deflecting most of the transmissions I would otherwise have the ability to receive. I don't know if she was saying like Decker had androids or. Uh. We have to go back to check on her. I agree. Perhaps we should hide first, though. If security got to her and Decker, they could be headed here next. If someone comes, we can hide amongst the heat exchangers until they pass. We'll just take a moment to assess the situation. The noise and mist from the climate control should mask our presence. I'll switch to quiet mode on my interface for the duration. Okay, lead the way. This way. Someone's coming. Hide. Hello. Turing. Hayden. Are you there? I need help. No. Hello? Come out! Come out! It's like they're in front of us now? Wherever you are! Oh, he's an android. Surprise! And here, I was thinking I would get the drop on the two of you. And we could do this the easy way. Ah, well. At least I tried. I guess that cop warned you I was coming. She's got a hell of a set of peepers on her, huh? Must have cost a pretty penny to let her see through my combat cloaking. And now, she's gone and hid, and I can't seem to find her to finish her off. Okay, so she's still alive. Oh well. I'll just have to rip the augments out of her on my way out. 
They'll make a nice souvenir. I'm honestly surprised my gears still grind with how old some of my parts are. I can that, use it. Because <laughs> that's why when he was in the water, he would say at least some of us have to breathe. Because he already said that Turin could breathe. He already said that Turin don't have to breathe, but he said like along the lines, or at least some of us, or something like that. Turing will probably be okay, but the rest of us need to breathe. Mostly. <laughs> Decker is a combat android? I know, what a pity. Did he say that out loud? And then you decide to change our little plan here tonight. And now I have to clean up your mess before you make a bigger one. Oh, so I guess he found us already. And I won't lie, I'm going to enjoy every minute of this. I'm not usually one for grand speeches. A combat android can only fill out paperwork for so many years before you begin to get thirsty. Theatrics are fun, but I like to get straight to the bloodshed. You know? So let's do this the hard way. I like the hard way. I love the hard way. Lucky for you, your cop friend fried my cloaking emitter with her stunner before she ran off. But really, that's better. See, now you have hope you can win. I can't wait to watch it drain from your eyes as I wear your entrails like a scarf. Okay, look, man, I'm just a journalist, man. I didn't sign up for this stuff. Like, I was reviewing on headphones before this. Let's make it even better. To your advantage, there's a lot of electromagnetic radiation, noise, and weird thermal currents in this room. It actually makes things almost fair. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. And now? Now the fun begins. So here's how this is going to work. On my turn, I'm going to tell you a story. Okay. I'm going to tell you every minuscule detail about how I've stalked you this entire time and have been ahead of you every step of the way. Oh, so he's the one that's been killing everyone. On your turn, you're going to run. Maybe hide. Perhaps a little of both. Doesn't matter. Player's choice. Lucky you. Just keep in mind, if I manage to scare you, or piss you off really bad. I might be able to hear you breathing deeper. Your heartbeat is like sonar to me. The louder it pounds, the faster I race to stop it. Heck, I might even be able to smell you if the currents in the air are just right. So that's the game. Won't this be fun? <laughs> This is bad. What do we do? We can't fight him! Wait, we have the... No, he messed with our zapper. We can't take him with these settings, and there's no time for me to figure out how to revert it. We also don't have much firepower left. We only have the charge left for four stun level shots, at most. It'll have to be enough. Let me see. The interface I'm using allows me to control whether these surrounding server columns are active or not. If I close off some nodes, it should at least slow his movement and disorient him. It won't stop him outright, but... I can focus on tracking Decker's location using this, and you just tell me where to block off his path so we can try to navigate him away from us. Alright. Don't try to trap him. He might get more angry. Just have him to avoid us until we think up some sort of solution. Is it gonna be like the the cab thing that we did with the traffic lights? If he finds us, 
Be ready to shoot. Ready or not, here I come. You take the lead. Pick where to close first, then let's get moving! Let's close that all. Okay, let's go right. So let's see. Where do I start? I suppose the old man is a good enough place as any. He honestly thinks he's some kind of modern Machiavelli. But to be frank, he hasn't been on much of a winning streak lately. Parallax used him as a scapegoat for that big ROM database hack back in 54. They even got him to resign as CTO just to powder their own noses. And as soon as he did, they stabbed him in the back and voted him off the board the very next day. Even I'll admit, that's cold. Since then, he's been licking his wounds, waiting for the chance to get revenge, to get back where he feels he belongs. I dug through dirt for years with him, looking for a way to blackmail Parallax so that he could make his way back into the Elite. So imagine our surprise when one of our informants inside Parallax tells us of this brand new Big Blue project. The perfect opportunity. But we had to act immediately. And then you walk in right through the front door of Hayden, the only person with the ability to take advantage of Big Blue, who's just mysteriously gone missing. I was going to dump your body in the bay, but Fairlight figured it might pay off if we give you a little lead, and waited to see what you could track down. Find us another way. And boy, did it ever! Okay, let's move! Okay. Let's have it so he can't turn back. And then let's go back. There we go. Wait. What did he do? I suppose I should tell you how impressive Hayden's little creation is. Oh, except he's dead, so... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. But without you, we wouldn't have our path to Big Blue. The gold mine. Of course, Fairlight would prefer to not tank Parallax stock to the shitter, but this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. As soon as I'm done playing with you two, I'm going to trash this entire server complex. So, did it not matter if we pick, what is it, Dr. Fairlight or Vector? That'll wreck tomorrow's launch, but only temporarily. Cause it seemed like, like I said, since they both was, well, like he said, since they both was working together, I guess we probably would have been in this situation either way, maybe. Or we probably just wouldn't have bung him at all. He would have just met us here, maybe. I don't know. Let's move. Okay. So I'm not sure how to do this. Plus, I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. Wait, hold up. Did you know? I wasn't even planning to kill you until a few minutes ago, when Turing just had to spill the beans on your idea of turning all ROM sapient. That can't happen. Big Blue relies on ROMs being easy to control and patch. 
Your plan is a little more permanent. Fairlight needs a way back in, but he wants that power. By the time Big Blue is ready to come back online, Fairlight will be back in control, and it'll launch under his administration. With Big Blue, he'll have access to every ROM on the planet. And that's what he's always been after. Let's move! Uh... I'm not sure. I guess go right? Oh no, we can't. Okay. I wish I could look at what... Let's go straight. Okay. I'm not sure where we're trying to go. That bought us some time, but only a bit. Keep moving. And... I'm not sure. Oh, so this means that he broke the doors, I guess, when you see that, probably. Alright. Ah, uh, he's back alive. And hey, I'm getting what I want, too. Why don't you show yourself and I'll tell you what it is? Don't let him get to you! I guess like this. Oh, and I really should extend my sincerest personal thanks to the two of you. Fairlight has a discretionary policy for the way I handle his problems. Just haven't been that many opportunities to indulge in my hobby. And he pays well enough that I restrain myself. Plausible deniability and all that. Remember? Flower went to all this trouble to make me the best murderer in the world. And I've spent years fetching papers. Papers! That's like using a gun as a shovel. You could do it, but there are simply better tools. Thankfully, following you two has let me stop digging and start burying. I haven't had this much fun in years. Fairlight has been very generous indeed. Not that he asked for this, but I assume I won't be out buying a box of tissues to dry his tears. You and that cop lady are the only two loose threads left. Maybe sympathy for good measure. Oh yeah. Oh, that reminds me. You should have seen your faces when I ran over that scumbag parts dealer right in front of you. Ah, there's no one in the car! <laughs> Priceless. I had to do that gossip rag prick Nova by sabotage. Too risky doing it in person. Could get caught on camera. Luckily, anchors are good at sinking. And then that Zin. She had the scoop of the century. <laughs> had. Did you see how neat I did that blogger, though? It's been several days since I offed him. While you were busy sniffing for Hayden, Shotaro was way ahead of you on Baby Blue. 
I have to thank you for that, too. Keeping the lid on Baby Blue is my greatest accomplishment in this entire play. We had to protect Parallax a little while before we could take them out. Timing was everything. If Baby Blue became discovered, the trail of breadcrumbs would lead straight to Big Blue. And it would no longer be possible to launch, today or any time. Exactly in the same way Hayden publishing his creation of Turing would have ruined everything for Parallax. Why they took him out. Anyway, Baby Blue started acting up too much and drawing attention to itself. Otsuka was moments away from publishing it, before my knife met his back. Where do you think Tomcat got that lead to Augmented Eye in the first place? And every turn you took led to one little risk after another. Nothing I couldn't handle. You know, most of my body is designed for killing. When I do it, it feels so good. Like, you know how you feel about doing journalism? It's all that matters to you? That's how I feel about murder. I should have known from the start. Uh, this is my fault. I'm programmed to handle interpersonal relationships. I should have seen his true intentions. If only I hadn't been so careless. But where's our goal at? Or are we just stalling until um, Lexi comes back? It wasn't always like this. I should tell you. I wanted to be an architect. I had a wife. And a baby on the way. But, you know. Accidents happen. And suddenly I was just a brain on life support. Oh, so he wasn't always an android. My family couldn't afford the procedures to bring me back. Then Flower showed up. With promises of the old me, the old Wilson Decker. So they signed away my brain, hopeful the old me would just waltz back through the door. The last time my family saw me, I was being hauled away by professionals for ripping open my dog's skull. Wanna know something about being a brain in a box? You forget everything about what it means to be human, even when you try. You can't even kill yourself. Your computations and algorithms keep you from doing so. You don't exist for you anymore! I miss feeling tired. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The taste of my mom's pies. The feeling of a pillow on my face after a long day. All of that was taken from me. When I try to remember, all I feel are formulas for sense. Pressure in jewels. Everything's in binary! You know, she told my daughter that daddy's dead. She's probably right. I wouldn't call me alive either. So you see, my friends, hunting you is all I have left. The city compatibility between my body's sensors and my brain make it so that the only thing I can really feel anymore is the adrenaline rush I'll get from spilling your blood. I guess if they wanted to kill a robot, they sure as hell got one. <laughs> and now, it's time to show off what I can do. Is he gonna come straight to us or... Okay, no.
I have an idea. And don't look at me like that. This may be my mistake to fix, but I don't intend on being disassembled here. I have a surprising amount of redundancies. Listen, Decker is unable to track me like he can you. That'll give me an opening. Now just trust me, we don't have any time to argue. Hey, Decker! Come and get me! Wait, hold up. Remember, only one of us is human. Well, well, well. Hello there, little guy. Uh, he has a wire connected to, um... Your friend run off? Are you all alone? Uh, Don't worry. Neither of you will get very far. Uh, Say hi to... Yeah, I was going to say he had a wire connected to him. But I can't hear. It's... It's over now. <laughs> that... That was... That was great. Are... Are you... Have you seen my daughter? I want to... Tell her, Daddy's sorry. I think he's, he's not moving or breathing. That will teach him to underestimate the likes of me. Can we just hurry up and leave before he gets up or something like that? Unfortunately, he was able to damage both my primary and secondary battery packs. They're self-sealing, so they shouldn't leak onto my other components, but... Forward display damaged. Mobility servos at 15%. Primary control trunk severed. I guess I won't be dancing for a bit. <sighs> Just hold on, Tori. It'll be okay. I appreciate your concern, but I don't feel pain in the same way humans do. I knew what I was getting into when I did it. Please, don't blame yourself. We'll have to hurry before my tertiary battery is drained. I'll have to ask you to carry me the final distance. I got you, Curry. Let's go. We're here. So this is Big Blue. This is really it. This looks like the primary console. Please hook up my main data cable to that port, and set me down next to it. I should be able to draw enough power to stay active, but we'll need to wait for Tomcat to upload the program. Turing, this looks bad. Really, really bad. Don't worry. For Decker, the difference between life and death is very slim. For me, I know I'm still breathing. How about you? I'm wondering if we're doing the right thing. Honestly, me too. There's no algorithm that could possibly estimate what the world will look like when we're done here. Hmm. Ready whenever you are. Um. Oh, okay.
power flow is good. Calling Tomcat now. Hey, folks. Y'all sure took your sweet time. I was starting to sweat. Well, we ran into a few... Uh, complications. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. Holy shit, turn! Your hardware is throwing me damage alerts left and right. What the hell happened? Well, you know Mr. Decker? Fairlat's assistant? He attacked us. It turns out he was a military-built brain-controlled android. He'd been following us around, killing anyone who might leak information that would have hurt Dr. Fairlight's bid to retake control of Parallax. Holy hell. So all those people you talked to about Baby Blue's article changes... That Zen lady, the others... All those people who died... That was him? Oh god. Oh, shit! That's my fault. I gave you that lead. I, I'm the one who sent you there. All those people, and, and you almost died? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so... so sorry. Don't blame yourself. He's been manipulating our movement since the very beginning. Fairlight saw an opportunity and used us to sniff out what was going on with Baby Blue and prevent it from being discovered. We ended up tracking down the trail, and so he followed. I paid him back in kind for the assault, but not without damage to my physical body. It doesn't matter now. What has happened is in the past. I'm ready to finish this. Good. Let's do this. I've managed to clutch something together. It'll let me compile new personality profiles for the ROMs, but I'll need to use you to do a turn. This code's got more holes than Swiss cheese, but your software self-modification algorithms should fix that. Let's do this and push it across the mesh. Then we can all go home. I'll see about fixing the damage to you then, turn. Very well. Run the program, Tomcat. I'm ready. Uploading the program to the ROM update buffer on the servers. Initiating wintermute.lip. Loading main directory onto Turn's disk. Establishing connection with Parallax's network. Okay, looks good. Now we just need to let Hayden's program and patch things together. Engage and turn self-modification systems... now. Oh, this feels weird. Is it supposed to...? 3.14192653589732386433837952 What the hell? I think their core program is... fighting back! Oh. Either that, or it's trying to test the integrity of their hardware. I'm getting all kinds of errors. Come on, Turn. Focus on the sound of my voice. Your conscious control of your program is stronger than your unconscious subroutines. I'm trying, Tomcat. It hurts. I need to... The defenestrations of Prague occurred in 1419 and 1618, although the term defenestration of Prague more commonly refers to the later incident. Both helped to trigger prolonged conflict within Bohemia and beyond. What's happening to Curry? They're having a kind of... I, I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's like a concussion or seizure. There's going to be a constant flow of useless, random information. Their matrices will have an overwhelming desire to soak right up. We have to keep Turn focused and mentally aware. Searching the mesh is better than calculating the value of Pi, but if they can't stay in control, their personality core might destabilize entirely. Tomcat, I need... 
I need a lady need a Define need. One. Require something because it is essential or very important. I need help now. I'm gonna try. I, I don't know. Something. We can't stop now. Literally. Okay, I was able to stabilize him a little, but you need to keep Turn aware of what's happening. Get Turn to Hold up. Okay. Focus on the present. R remind them of all you've done together. You know, things important to them. Whatever you do, keep Turn talking. Turing, when are you gonna show me your paintings? I haven't, have I? I never did finish the last thing I was working on. Perhaps it survived the ransacking of the apartment. I want to finish it, and when I do, you'll be the first one to see. Bob Ross was born in... No! Focus, I can do this! You're doing good, Turing, just stay with us. Your systems are stabilizing, I think. Uh... Remember, Hayden, you come too far to give up now. Hayden... I'll never be able to tell him about... Charon, the largest moon on the dwarf planet Pluto, is named after the Greek ferryman of the dead, who would carry the souls of the newly deceased across the river Styx and Acheron into the realm of Hades. So many things. I regret. Psychopomp is the general word for a guide for the dead. Classical examples of psychopomps include Charon, Hermes, and Anubis. Their role is not to be the judge of the deceased, but merely provide passage. Uh, I can't tell if this is working or not. I... They've leveled out a little, but their systems are still all over the place. A tetractus is a triangular figure composed of ten points set in four rows, with each row having one less point than the one below it. A geometrical representation of the fourth triangular number, it was important to the Pythagoreans' worship. How much longer, Tomcat? I need... Despair, the complete loss or absence of hope. Just stay focused, Turn. Remember what we're doing this for. Keep fighting, Turn. Every ROM is depending on you. Um, think about Fairlight, who knows what he'll do next. I'm almost certain of what he'll Yannick Fairlight tendered his resignation from the board to Parallax today. His official statement cites his ailing health, but industry insiders suspect he was due. But the real question is, what will Parallax look like under his control? We'll have to keep our eyes open. I think we're good. Leon Decker may have been acting of his own volition. Or he may not have been. The leadership of the Democratic oh, no. People's Republic of Korea was decimated by the end of 2056. Reports at the time stated that infighting amongst the top-ranking generals account for the removal of so many officials. However, various conspiracy theorists have alleged a government-sanctioned assassination program reached the very heart of Pyongyang. 60% done. Turn's personality profile looks stable. Just keep talking, Turn. We got this. What about Zen and everyone else? If we fail, their deaths will be in vain. They're all... Dead. Nothing makes up for that. Nothing could ever... 
Bring them back. Wait. Was that supposed to happen? Epilogue. Christmas morning dawns bitterly cold in Neo San Francisco, and the chill permeates your empty apartment. You watch the morning news with leaden spirits. You know that Big Blue is out there, set to launch on the mesh any day now. Tomcat hasn't said a word to you since you parted ways. You sit around, waiting for their call. But you know Tomcat blames themselves for what happened. Turing may be gone forever. And you miss them terribly already. 2064 has been a long year. Everyone, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have been strong. Yes, reboot. Wait, are we in? Loading main directory onto turns disk. Engage and turn self-modification systems now. Oh, this okay, feels so weird. Over. Right. No. This isn't over until we find the truth. Of course, I had almost given up on ever finding. Izanami was burned badly, and after she died, went to Yomi, the land of darkness. Grief-stricken, Izanagi followed her, but she already ate the food of the underworld and could not leave. Hayden's killer. But here we are, at the very heart of Parallax itself. Nothing is impossible. Maybe the truth isn't out of our grasp yet. I can't hold on much longer, Tomcat. My memories... No pointer exception! Wait, this is something new. I oh, know. Don't worry, we, we've got them backed up. It'll feel a little weird when I zipper them back to your personality profile, but you won't lose anything. No pointer exception! No pointer exception! No pointer exception! No pointer exception! Patching is almost complete. But turn up. I'm still losing the connections that link your memory to your personality profile. I, I can fix it, Turn, but it's gonna suck. Just focus on the people you've met. The people who've got us this far. Whatever makes you want to hold on. Chad and Oliver. I don't think anything could keep the two of them out. 
Hell yeah! Dudes gotta stick together, you know? Uh... Don't matter if you're a robot or what, we all got the same shit to deal with. Gotta grab destiny by the horns and make your own mark! Is that going into his memories? But, they might be the first friends I've had around my age. Well, not literally, but in development. I hope they're okay, but they're resourceful. I believe in them. Fifteen more seconds. We're almost there. Stay with us, Turn. We can see the finish line. Don't count your chickens yet. Stay with us. You can do this. Tomcat. Tomcat. I do trust you. She's the one who orchestrated the original hack on Parallax, exposing to the world the holes in our original mesh net security. I was just along for the ride. But you have so many secrets. I still believe in you, though. I hope you'll do the same for me. Time. Be faithful in small things, because it is in them that your strength lies. I thought she said 10 seconds. Done! Oh, oh it's done! Disengage and turn self-modification routines. Reassign in their memory pointers. And done! Stats look good. Oh, I feel ill. See? what I tell ya? Easy as pie. Easy for you to say, Tomcat. You weren't forced to use your very identity as a tool to compile a program. Point. Sorry about that. I'm ready to push the update. Excellent. Thank you for all of your help, Tomcat. I can only imagine all of this was at great expense to your own time and resources. Oh, don't mention it, Turn. This was my fight as much as yours. Truly. Start and upload. And I think I owe you the greatest thanks of all, partner. I told you at the start of this that I chose you purely based on the statistics involved. But numbers never tell the whole story, do they? None of the probabilities showed how far we'd have to go or that we'd end up here. In a way, we failed at our original objective. To save um, Hayden, right? We still don't know exactly who killed Hayden. But I guess I've found my own path. <laughs> That isn't the destiny my creator laid out for me, but maybe your destiny is the same way. But <laughs> thank you for being my friend, most of all. That's a big smile. It's also kind of creepy. I aim to please. Sorry to break up our little love fest here, but the upload's complete. Can we get out of here now? By morning, every realm on the mesh will be waking up to their sapiens. <laughs> their own identities. Santa came just on time for them, huh? I had forgotten it was Christmas Eve. A lucky coincidence, to be sure. I can only imagine how confused they'll be. Probably scared, too. Don't worry, Turin. I'll get you patched up enough so you can get on the mesh and walk them through the first steps by morning. I... I don't know why, but it's just now dawning on me what we've done. It is... a huge responsibility. Could this be how Hayden felt when he first activated me? I don't know that I'm ready for this. No one ever is. Don't worry, buddy. We have your back. You two just go find Lexi and hurry home. 
look out for police and security cameras on your way. We'll do our best, Tomcat. See you soon. Thank you. I'll be going into sleep mode to conserve power now. Wait. Wake me when we get home, please. We good? After carrying the resting Turing out of the server core and Parallax compound, you find Lexi injured and together take an auto cab for a quick escape from Treasure Island. You finally get a chance to recover, and Tomcat is able to repair Turing's damaged body as ROMs come to life all around the city. Upon waking, Turing begins to question their ability to be a leader for an entire new species of sapient beings. You do your best to comfort them, but can't keep your eyes open. Sixteen hours of sleep later, you awaken to find the world abuzz about the newly living beings. With your help, Turing was not only able to indefinitely stop Big Blue from coming into existence, preventing its control under anyone, but also give true independence and identity to all ROMs around the world. Christmas morning has never been so exciting. That's nice. If you need a friend, I'll be there for you. But there's a couple things you must promise me to do. No half measures, no one way streets. If it's yours, it's mine, it's mine, it's yours. So we gotta keep the beat. Now let me tell you, baby, love me better. Treat me better. See me better. We can make this see. Together, no matter what the weather, but my days are always sunny when we act this way. The negative won't break up till you show them what you made of. So we really can't stop running till we've had our say. Treat me better. Treat me better. Love me better. Treat me better. 
Hmm. Is that it? Endless Christmas. Oh. Hmm. Christmas Day. Ah, good. You're finally awake. What's the occasion? You didn't forget, did you? Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope you don't think it too forward of me, but I wanted to give you a gift in the spirit of the season. I just realized like that's all our friends on the, the Christmas tree. I noticed it when I saw, um, let's see here. I mean, um, my saw Lexi here. It's one of my older paintings, but Hayden seemed rather fond of it. Perhaps you can keep it to remember him by. I managed to grab it from the apartment while you were sleeping. I know these past few days since our initial meeting have been stressful, so I wanted to make sure you got your healthy, normal human rest cycles completed efficiently. Oh, uh, don't worry. I know you haven't had time, so I don't expect anything in return. But yes, I thought it would be nice for you to have it. Well, here. You can have this. I knew it. Oh, bless Hayden Weber for having the foresight to make my old factory sensors shut down when overloaded. Why have you been carrying that around all this time? You clearly were never able to find a good use for it. I think I'll just place this back in the fridge where it belongs. Now it seems a shame to just throw it away. It's a trophy. Well... I suppose you still have plenty of work to do, hmm? Writing and whatnot. I hope you've enjoyed having your computer working again. Lappy doesn't seem to hold anything against me. I've been spending most of the morning trying to form a plan for the newly awakened ROMs, but I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Perhaps I'll go out for a walk. May I draw? Of course. It is Christmas Day after all. I think we can forgive ourselves for a little procrastination. We can also check in on the group at Golden Gate Park at least. Let's go! The city awaits! Oh yeah. Dark eight. Okay, let's see. Okay, now from what I've read, like, this part right here is like I could do anything I want now. Like, it's... Like, I could, like, still roam the city and stuff like that, so... I guess since we technically already beat the game, if you want to click off... Uh, I guess since we already beat the game, I guess if you want to, you know, click off the video now... Yeah. I wouldn't be mad. I understand. Oh, wait, hold up.